Another group of scientists is also looking at the Patterson footage. Is this gate a human gate? Is it a non-human gate? Is it from similar to something that we know or not? Dr. Jürgen Konsak was an associate director of the Human Sensory Model Lab at the University of Minnesota. When in 2004, he conducted an experiment as simple as taking a walk. So what, so what you do is if you're down, you walk like this, and this is exactly what he's doing. This lab is devoted to, to, to motor control, to how people, humans, uh, not only walk, but actually uh, are able to move. One hot topic of internet conversation is the wobbly gait or walk of the Patterson subject. Skeptics say it is a man having difficulty walking in a heavy, bulky monkey suit. But proponents say a human is not physically able to walk like this. The results of this experiment have never been revealed until now. It seems to be, despite the size, a relatively smooth walk. Um, and it doesn't seem to be like a, a lot of oscillations in terms of, you know, the center of gravity moving up or down. Using an optic electronic camera system, Dr. Konzak plans to compare the gait of the figure in the film with that so of a human. swing your whole arm. Good. Now swing your whole leg. All right. There we go. Paleoanthropologist Esteban Sarmiento from the American Museum of Natural History in New York is joining Dr. Konzak in the experiment. Sarmiento has studied large wild apes in Africa. I am totally open-minded as to the question of Bigfoot existing in the Northwest. There has to be something to these reports. For the test, an athlete with good range and muscle control has been chosen. He will try to match the gait of the creature while his every movement is recorded frame by frame. So what we have is these light bulbs that we've attached to some anatomical landmarks. They basically reflect infrared light that is sent out from uh, LEDs next to the cameras, has been reflected, and then the camera actually picks it up. The computer then reconstructs the points of light as a three-dimensional figure. Yeah, we see them all in all cameras, so that's good. His elbow, so he's, this is fine, he has to... Just bring his, his elbow. Kinesiology is the study of human movement and is fundamental in developing treatments for problems in the musculoskeletal system. The question before Dr. Jurgen Konzak and Dr. Esteban Sarmiento is, can a human replicate the gait of the thing in the Patterson film? Is, is, is that okay now? Just let's check his legs and then I'll go up and bend his arms. Tiny bit? Mm, yeah, try to straighten up the back just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's it. What we're going to do with this arm is we're going to just pick up your shoulder just a little bit. Okay? Yeah. Does that look a little bit better? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, lights uh -oh. off. Recording. Move. He's like a big plasticine He's like a big plasticine doll. Right there, he's up. He's got his. Oh. See that? Yeah, he's up off the right there. He's totally up. That's you see, like right there. Yeah, it's yeah. just like as high as he's ever going to come. Right. And now he's going like, to actually bring his leg yeah. through. The most telling problem is in the subject's knee movement. Yeah, that has to be back. There's one knee. sequence of frames in there. I think where we, I think we're pretty good, and where you clearly see that uh, there is this lateral rotation at the knee, and where the foot is kind of like you know going outward. This, which is called inversion. Um, and so, and that is something that it seems rather strange. The unusual gait of the creature in the Patterson film has received considerable scrutiny. Skeptics say it is a man struggling to walk in a heavy monkey suit. But proponents claim it is impossible for a human to replicate the wobbly walk. Our shoulder markers are roughly around five feet, so well, you know, if we'll go a little further, we should be fine. Dr. Konzak wants to see if this athlete is able to put his body into the seemingly awkward positions of the Patterson subject. If he can, then it is reasonable to assume the walk could be replicated, and it could be a man in a monkey suit. However, you know, if you look at this gate, I think we can clearly say it is not the walk of a large ape that we know today. 
said he doesn't walk like a human and he doesn't walk like an ape. The athlete couldn't do it. He could not walk like whatever or whoever was caught on film. 